Okay, this is a video for the constructing the space-time camera. Uh, some of the steps are not included, so check out the instructable to get uh, all the details. So shown here is the display screen, the seven-inch touch screen that's used for the for the space-time camera. Uh, you plug in a uh, two cables, one to the five volt, one to the ground. Then we've got the bottom part of the acrylic plate here and I'm screwing in uh, PCB uh, standoffs uh, that are going to connect to the top part of the uh, of the cooling system these are tightened up with a uh, some sort of pliers okay this is then placed on top of the display screen and a smaller standoff uh, standoffs are screwed into the, the uh, display board. Then we've got the Raspberry Pi that just sits right on top and there's some small screws that come with the, the cooling kit, uh, the cooling system and you screw in the, the Pi uh, using some electronic screwdriver. Now I've got the 3D printed parts uh, that are used to construct the entire space-time camera. The potentiometer is first screwed into the top plate here. Uh, so there are three holes, one for the potentiometer that's going to adjust the position of the line uh, in the space-time camera. Then we've got uh, the playback switch right here that goes through. The shutter gets installed later into the board. And I should note, I don't have it in this video, but underneath you see a few holes for screws and those have been tapped. Um, after you put the playback button through, you use uh, needle nose pliers to tighten it up. Okay, so now the, the, the top part of the frame is ready to be attached to the, the rear part of the, of the frame. And there are three bolts that mm -hmm. are used to connect these uh -huh. two frames. And they're shown right here. Um, I'm gonna The one is kind of tucked away in the in the right there, but not too bad to reach. To secure the the left side, or the the left side of the top part of the frame to the rear part of the frame, we use the uh, the shutter, uh, and also not shown in this video, but in the instructable, there's a slot for sliding in the nut for the shutter, and this is what's used to screw the, the shutter push pin in. And that's gonna clamp down and push the top frame onto the, to the rear frame. For how these parts are actually connected and soldered to the to the pin, uh, to the push pins, the push buttons, and the potentiometer. Check out the instructable. It's pretty straightforward, but the the one uh, LED shutter uh, shutter, the one that I'm putting in right now, is a has a few extra pins and it could help to to check out uh, a schematic. Now we've got the bottom plate here, and you can see the, the nut has already been placed in. Uh, that's also in the instructable. Uh, that's for attaching a, a tripod. There are six bolts that connect this bottom plate to the rear plate. And again, uh, the rear plate uh, has been tapped so that those screws will go in all right. Now we place this assembly, the top, bottom, and rear plate onto the display, the, the touch screen. 
and you just gotta line up those four holes. And then you use four small screws to attach the, the, the camera frame onto the display. And on the left there, uh, I, which is not included in the video as well, you see the extension cable for the, the power supply, and that's been uh, epoxied in. It's that red part that's been 3D printed. Okay, now the display board is attached to the, to the frame, and we're going to start to set up uh, the, the cooling system. We've got the Pi camera that's been attached to a 3D printed mount, and it's it's been uh, pushed through the top acrylic part of the cooling system. And then it goes into the Raspberry Pi. We then temporarily attach the top acrylic part uh, so that we can put the, the wires through the acrylic uh, for, for uh, hooking up all the electronics. The way that I did this was I used a wire tap tool. There's a, a wire wrap tool. You can see all the wire wrap. Uh, that's been attached to all the electrical components. I've got a schematic online that shows how all these have to be hooked up and I've fast forwarded here it's, uh, to sh uh, after hooking up some of these cables. Right now I'm hooking up the, uh, the cables for the potentiometer. So right now we've attached the potentiometer and the two push buttons. Okay, after those have been hooked up, we push that aside and we need to wire up the analog to digital converter, which is shown here. This has been soldered onto a prototype board. Again, the wiring's all on the instructable and there's a few sources there for, there's a, there's a really nice uh, page on setting up these analog to digital converters and how to wire them correctly and, and the code you need for using them with the Pi. Okay, so all the cables have been wire wrapped to the, the pins. And now we're going to just hook up the wire wrap onto the, the pins on the, on the Pi. Uh, at this point, the analog to digital converter has been hooked up, and now I've taken, oh, I actually skipped a step here, so I took the acrylic plate off and I hooked up the power supply for the fan and the display, or the, the, the touch screen. Uh, it's shown in the top right of the, of the pins on the Pi. You can see that they're plugged in. So after you've plugged those in, now it's time to put the acrylic plate back on. Uh, and I've attached those with uh, a, a few screws. Right now I'm hooking up the ribbon cable for the display, the LCD, or the, uh, the touch screen display. And that's been plugged into the Pi. And now I t I'm attaching the analog to digital converter to the the, the PCB standoffs that are connected to the, that are on top of the cooling system. Okay, so all the electronics are hooked up right now, and I'm attaching the Pi camera and the Pi camera mount onto the, f the front frame of the space-time camera. There's a few holes there that I've tapped, and now we're just going to drive a few of those four screws to connect 
the, the camera, the Pi camera to the, the front. Okay, that's all screwed in, and now we fit the top, or the front frame onto the rest of the camera body, and it's a bit of a tight fit. You've got to slide one in, in first. It should lock in. You just push down, and there we go. And now there are six bolts to be, six screws to, to attach this front frame onto the rest of the camera body. Uh, Again, in this video, I skipped a, f a few things, and I've got uh, nuts that are going through the frame, the, the rear frame that those bolts uh, are connecting into. I got a, a knob right here that I'm attaching onto the potentiometer. A lot of these components are from Adafruit and some stuff from Amazon, and the parts were 3D printed with a Prusa 3D printer. And now I'm hooking up, just screwing in the potentiometer knob there and there's this little plastic ring that goes around it and that's it the camera is now constructed uh, we've got the power supply there on the side the LCD screen the plastic covers on the front and the buttons all right thanks for watching and check out the instructable for all the details on how to assemble the spacetime camera